uh, this is Lanaturali. I'm back with another one. Dry hair. We all complain about our hair being too dry. It dries up quickly. It's a struggle. It's a struggle for many, 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 many naturals. So from my experience, I'm going to share what I have noticed to cause my hair to dry out and hopefully you can relate and I'll share what I have done to try and combat or just reduce the dryness of the hair. So the first cause of dry hair or what I have experienced to dry my hair is shampoo. The type of shampoo that you use so there are types of shampoos I think I will do a series on that also not a series but like a video on that I'll go and research about different types of shampoos and then just share with you guys what I found so shampoo a shampoo there's clarifying shampoo cleansing shampoos you know there's moisturizing shampoos for hydrating you know, all those words so the type of shampoo that she use affect your hair so when you when a shampoo clarifies your hair or cleanses your hair most shampoos tend to strip your hair of moisture or its natural oils so you find that after shampooing your hair feels very dry and delicate and it feels like when you touch it it's going to break especially the second day after wash day so most shampoos cause your hair to be dry so you need to really be careful of of the shampoos you choose and you, you you do see if you follow many like naturals or natural hair groups or youtubers they tell you about sulfates and all of that and alcohols in shampoos those are the main causes of dryness in the hair caused by the shampoo so what i have done is that i have eliminated the use of shampoos on my hair and then I started slowly introducing cleansers which I found a cleanser from Aunt JK it's coconut based I have shared it on my channel and on my socials um it's a cleanser it really cleans I feel like it cleans my hair well and it doesn't strip my hair off more of like its oils and moisture so, so when I'm done shampooing or cleansing my hair I, I feel my hair still has some bounce and it also still has some moisture or a bit of oils left in it and also you can do pre-pooing or hot oil treatments with pre-pooing is it's basically using an oil like mostly penetrating oils I have done a video on like types of hair oils for fussy hair so I'll just link it up like on the cards up there if you want to click it, go and watch it or I'll leave it down on the description box below so you can use those oils like oils that help retain moisture or add moisture to your hair um, just use that put put it put before you shampoo or do anything just put oil on your hair put a plastic cap shower cap just to add some heat so that it encourages the oil to penetrate the hair shaft and that will help add or it will reduce the natural oils from the hair being stripped when you shampoo so it will act as a second layer of oils uh, like a second defense in a way and another way is to also deep condition or use conditioners that uh, really add moisture to your hair but deep conditioning I would really suggest it because it takes time and it take no not really takes time but it because of the amount of time you leave it on and its properties it penetrates the hair and it reintroduces moisture back to the hair i'll do a video on that or i have done it um it'll be on my channel either way <laughs> on types of conditioners and and yeah so deep conditioning hot oil treatments hot oil treatments are basically you warming up oils penetrating oils and then putting it on your hair leaving it there just to help with moisture sealing in moisture and then adding shine strengthening your hair depending on the properties of the oil so another thing to add to your to to retain moisture is 
I use a glycerin mixed with water. But the problem with glycerin is that although it helps with keeping your hair moist and then attracting moisture from the environment, because it acts as a humectant, the problems I have seen with glycerin is that it attracts a lot of dirt and you get a lot of product buildup from it and it causes a lot of shrinking. So if you're willing to deal with that, just yeah, you can add it and if you add it, don't put too much um, in your water or in your hair or in your product because it does cause a lot, a lot of product buildup. Like I have it on my hair now and my hair is feeling very... Yeah, you see, it leaves your hair like that. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, the next point are, is protein treatments. Now, protein treatments, because our hair is made up of proteins, like protein, protein, all of that, like scientific. <laughs> so sometimes we need to add like a protein treatment so that just to help our hair to, to strengthen up a bit. And uh, sometimes we do it too much. Um, some people are sensitive to protein treatments. So you find like, when you either like have done too much protein treatment or your hair is sensitive to protein treatment you find that your hair becomes really dry hard and it feels like a straw so be careful when you're doing protein treatments just test if you like you're sensitive to protein you can just take a section of your hair put in protein treatment leave it on for a while rinse your hair and just see how your hair feels and we would recommend or most naturals recommend like you do your protein treatments once a month the next point is that i have seen like product the products that we put on our hair like we don't react the same in terms of products so you might find a product like and say wow this product is so great for my hair it leaves my hair moisturized soft blah 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 but then with me and i use it i'm like yeah man this product does not help me at all so with that one we really can't say which product will make your hair dry because it's trial and error unless you know which ingredients you're sensitive to like protein um coconut and a list of other products but basically with pro a product sensitivity the only way you can find out is if you do trial and error unfortunately most products don't give out samples so you don't really have the chance to buy a sample before buying the actual product and what i noticed is that a small onion search ad for a sample is expensive like why would i spend 40 50 80 rand on a search ad and the product is like 100 rand 90 rand like what what difference does it make so it wastes money but it's really up to you with me it's been trial and error buying the product using it for a while and seeing that it's not working for me and then i just ditch it give it to someone or throw it away the next point is the environment you're in so <laughs> in terms of environment there's nothing much you can do actually but just increase your your the techniques like your hot oil treatment the how many times do you do your hot oil treatment doing the baggy method um improving the humidity of the room so what i mean by the environment being the cause of my dry hair is that when i'm in a dry environment like where i live the city that i live in or the town that i live in is very dry and very dusty so my hair doesn't have the help from the environment like the moisture from in, from the environment so it tends to really lose moisture quickly and it becomes very dry so the baggy method which is basically just sleeping with a shower cap or plastic bag underneath your setting bonnet or your droop um, really helps in terms of maintaining moisture because sometimes you find that you actually do use a certain scarf setting pillow but still your hair gets dry because whether it's night day the and the air is very very dry so your hair needs some help like humidifiers if you can you can just use those things to help with it like you can find that in Durban it's very very humid so your hair does get moisture so those people will now no bashab but they just have to deal with too much moisture and shrinkage while with us here in like Victoria Joburg like your central areas the environment is dry so our hair will be very very dry because it's hot and dry yeah my laptop just switched off 
Um, the next cause is the use of excessive heat. Now, the use of excessive heat can either be in, in, in a form of hair dryers, straighteners, and all of that, or it can be in terms of the sun. So you, if you're in the sun a lot, that really affects the hair because just like your skin, your hair also gets burnt from the sun. So that can cause, if you're in the sun a lot, it does cause your hair to be dry. And then the use of like hair dryers, if you don't use heat protectant, if the heat on the hair dryer is too high, your hair will be dry. And if you use straighteners, your hair also will be dry. So reduce, the heat when you're using artificial heat just try and reduce it and use heat protectants but if you use it a lot obviously your hair will be affected because you're always manipulating the coil pattern sorry the coil pattern of your hair and with the sun just try to stay away from the sun because i've never seen product with spf or like you know yeah things like that like you no know, you have spf for your skin i've never seen spf for your hair so just try to wear a hair when you're in the sun or just reduce your time in the sun. The last point is color, hair color or hair dye. I dyed my hair, um, I don't know when, but it really does make your hair thin, vulnerable and dry. So your hair, what I noticed is that your hair becomes very really high porosity and it loses a lot of moisture because it is damaged it's like you forced the color into the strands of your hair into the hair shaft so for me i feel like it's a foreign thing so you're forcing the hair to be like something else <laughs> i don't know how to explain it but coloring your hair does really affect how dry your hair is how you moisturize your hair it really does affect your hair and your scalp so with that one you really have to try and find products that say like for color treated hair damaged hair things like that just try to deep condition more um do protein treatments if you're not protein sensitive but not just like once a month and do your hot oil treatments just those things just to encourage the retention of moisture in your hair anyway that's it for this video if you enjoyed the video please do not forget to like comment down below and subscribe to the slash signing out i will see you guys in another one bye